I I I did not realize my mic was off. That is my bad. Yo, what is up? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's restart. Let's restart. Like I said, four hour so what I'm looking at right now is or let me say hi first. Yo, what's up? Um what I'm looking at is bullishness. So basically because I'm looking at bullishness, um four hour broke structure to the upside here. And then if you go down the one hour price came down as soon as we broke structure on the four hour price came down, swept liquidity, swept these equal lows, swept all, all of this sell side liquidity, and then now price is reversing back up. Drop down to the five minute here. If you draw your Fibonacci tool uh, and your standard deviation from the last uh, manipulation candle here, price is project. Oh, price is projecting to come up to these uh, to this 50% marker of this whole entire four hour range. So if you draw your OTE or your Fib Fibonacci level from here to here, from here to here, from the top of this candle to the bottom of this candle, price is uh, projecting. Price is projecting for us to come up to this two, negative 2 to 2.5 level. And it's also in line with this 50% level here. So I'm pretty bullish going into the morning. 4 hour is bullish. 1 hour is about to break structure to the upside. It's technically bearish. 15 minute here is bullish. I would like some sort of liquidity sweep or, or a higher time frame imbalance. And would like to go and would like to see us go higher. So that's what I'm looking at right now. So, yeah, we just wait and see. Yo, teach us how to trade pre-market analysis. Um, what do you mean trade pre-work pre-market analysis? I kind of just uh, what is it? I don't like to trade pre-market because it's super volatile here. Like I don't know where price is more likely to. I know where price is more more likely to go. I just don't like want to trade it. You know what I mean? I want to see like a good clean setup first before trading anything. If that makes sense. But market just opened, so we're about to see what happens here. Like I said, I would like some sort of liquidity sweep here. Like some sort of liquidity sweep, maybe to this low, and then go up even higher. And we don't have news today. I mean, we do, uh, but it's we have no news today. It's gonna happen. News is gonna happen around five, four thirty, um, four thirty New York time. So right now we have zero news. So that should be okay. <clears throat> so right now, we'll have to see what happens here. Like I said, I would like some sort of liquidity sweep. Maybe this generated sell side liquidity area here, sell side. But we'll have to see. We'll see what ES is doing here. ES is a lot bullish. ES is also very bullish. So right now, hours bullish one hour is bullish this looks a lot more clean this looks so much cleaner than in q for sure would it wouldn't mind some sort of come back uh wouldn't mind some sort of liquidity sweep here Tap the higher time frame and balance is now displacing back up. This is using as an order block here. If we can close above it, minute here. There's also a 15 minute fair value gap here. This is an order block here. Tapping this order block. This looks a lot cleaner, honestly. Yeah, ES looks so much cleaner. Thoughts on Tesla bias? Let me show you. Hold on, give me one second. I'm still bearish. Looks like uh, Tesla tapped this four hour imbalance here. Looks like Tesla tapped this four hour imbalance and, st and still respecting this here. And I'm expecting more of a drop. It looked like the one hour, I would, I would wait more. It looks like the one hour is bullish, so I would wait for a break of structure on the one hour first before for Tesla going lower. But pretty bearish on Tesla. But this looks very clean though on ES. My 
I look for longs, bro. Looking for longs. It's kind of projecting um, standard deviation here. Yeah, ES just looks a lot cleaner here. I think I might take ES longs right now. Or not right now, but like once we get more confirmation here. Because it looks great, to be honest. Look, we're tapping this 15 minute imbalance, came down, tapped. And then now, in a 15 minute fair value gap, tapping this order block here. Because it stopped liquidity here. Order block was mitigated is bullish i mean it's technically bullish here unless we break structure to the downside and we could see a lot lower here i'm looking to long and q yeah longing and q isn't bad either i just think es just seems to be the cleaner move at the moment um let me check We'll form SMT if we, um, okay. Right now we just wait. Maybe we want more sell side liquidity, which is perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. To validate longs. Excuse me. Dude, recently I've been getting hacked. I don't know what is happening. I've been getting hacked. Like my, my my bank is closed right now. Like I can't log in on the app. I says I need to call them for them to unlock it, bro. It is fucking crazy. Like my everything that I have has been getting hacked, and I've been like working on trying to fucking fix it, bro. And it's like I'm like, why am I getting hacked, bro? I literally done nothing. Literally nothing. Hello, oh, my bad. The mic was my mic just stopped working all of a sudden, bro. I was like, what the fuck? All right, like I said, still waiting. Still the 15 minute fair value gap here. So, like I said, it, like I said, ES looks so much cleaner to be to be honest, in my opinion. Yes, to be no anymore. Bullish system T right here on ES and NQ. This could have been your turtle suit, maybe. I might take to I might long here. Uh maybe I I think I got in with I think I'm gonna be getting in a little bit too late here. ES just looks a lot cleaner at the moment. All right, I'm getting in along here. Sell at these lows. Or this lower here. Give longs a stab here. I never trade ES, but I'm gonna give it a shot this time. Looking, oh, where's my standard deviation projection, bro? We'll see what happens here. I'm um, I took a long because um 
we had bullish system T here taps uh, swept out all these sell sell liquidity bullish system T here so this is we'll have to see what happens here I'm kind of confident going into this play here um, I might look to take some off at this at this very high so we'll see she's never knew using the four hour time frame to check out fair value gaps on the higher time frames bro oh, higher time frame holds power brother higher time frame holds power We'll see what happens here. I so said we're we are in the fifteen minute imbalance here. And then bullish some T. Between ES and NQ, I sh I realistically should have waited for one minute break of structure, but I like how this candle swept out all of these lows right here. Most of some tea, so uh, this this trade doesn't look terrible. this out just to be safe so type in this order block here so we might get stopped out here Just kind of rejection here. Like I said, I need to see a woman in breaker structure here to the upside. Took my winnings. Took my winning trade of the day. Don't know if I want to continue or not. Uh, bro, if you want, I would, it just depends on how you feel, bro. Do you feel good about your trade? Do you feel like, do you feel like it was a good trade overall? If it was, then I would say just call it a day, bro. You know what I mean? Don't want to just ruin, don't want to lose all your profits, bro. Like I did last night or yesterday. I was up like 500. Now I was up like a hundred bucks. So I want to see us run through this five minute for value up here. Nice bullish candle here. Still have, we broke structure to the upside by a tick. So we should see some upside hopefully. Oh, we'll have to see here. This is why I hate trading ES. It's like super slow sometimes, but like I said, it, look, it looks like the cleaner move in my opinion. So 
There we go. Still rejecting this five minute eight fit rag up here. Looks clean in here. Like I pick up those broken pieces till I'm bleeding. Might just sit and watch the charts for another 30. See if anything comes up. Yeah, exactly. 100% bro. If you see a trade that you would take originally, I would take it bro. You, may, you make 100% of the shots you don't take. We're tapping this five minute imbalance here. If we, I want to see us run through this five minute imbalance. We have 20 seconds here to see if this can gets closed above it. And then if we do, this sh it should use as an inverse pair value gap here. So we'll see. So close from getting stopped out. Yeah, we almost got stopped out here. But my, it looks like my stopped was at a good spot here. Need a can of closure above. Okay, we don't get a cl candle closure above. We're still technically respecting it, but we did open above this candle, so which is that's a good, that's also a very good sign. So we'll have to see what happens here. Fully candle closure, but like whole fully candle closure in this gap here. I want to see us run through this. Still respecting this 15 minute imbalance here. Filled it completely, so. I wouldn't be surprised if we came back down, tap this woman in here, which we which we already did, and should see some more upside hopefully. Bro, I had such terrible sleep last night. It was not even funny. My, I had the worst sleep last night. Legit could not go to sleep. Like my body was like cold, but my but like my but like my feet were like hot. So it was like it felt so bad. And then the fan was on. I had I turned on the fan because my feet were really hot. You know what I mean? You have like a fan turned on or whatever. And that happened. And then I was just cold. And then I put on my blanket and then I got hot really fast and then I was cold again it was just terrible bro and then I woke up like twice just to go just to go fucking pee bro it was so bad it was terrible bro I said so did you work last night I did not work last night I I don't work today I I, I don't work I haven't I didn't I, yeah, I don't work yesterday or today but I worked back on Thursday so that was good but I still Got the worst sleep possible. I think I might start taking melatonin before going to bed. I think I think I might start. I think I might take a melatonin before going to bed later tonight, so I can wake up and do good. Oh, there we go. Nice little push up here. Most people saw this five minute fair value gap. I'm like, okay, they're gonna short from here. And yeah, we're, we're longs in here because higher time frame holds power. Tap the 15 minute imbalance. So we should see higher. If I just take one off here. <clears throat> Damn, bro, that's tough. Sleep is, no, sleep is so important. Exactly, bro. Like, the thing is, like, I feel okay right now. You know what I mean? But later in the day, I feel like I want to feel like shit. Because yes, last night, or yesterday, I slept. I took a nap after the trading session yesterday. The live trading. I took a nap right after that. So. Melatonin is important. It's pretty good. I took a cool shower in the morning to wake the fuck up for trading. No, that's completely fucking fair, bro. Like, pe there's people out there who take ice baths before, like, going through their day. And I'm like, God damn, bro. That's a lot of dedication. I'm not going to lie to you. I was looking for longs, but shorts, but for shirts now. Asia, how I was taking it. Asia left lows. I got you. Let me see. 
I mean, we could see lower, to be honest with you, because we, we got done at Stupid London High here. And we failed to display slower, so. Let me look at NQ. <clears throat> you know, I see recovery. Asia High was swept. We'll see. This trade might get, we might get stopped out of this trade here. But we should be fine, hopefully. I'm not going to be too mad if we lose this trade. This trade doesn't look terrible. Yeah, this one minute that we're holding on still. I don't want to see us close below this. Which be my honestly, it looks like we want to go lower here. If we get a can of closure below this, uh, for value, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll exit my position. Yeah, I'm exiting my position here. Take a negative 13 point loss here, down about 330. These are scary numbers, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, about $333 uh, dollar loss. Not too bad. Manage my risk. So, I'm not really too worried. Let's go. Just cash. Just got a 190 ca scalp short on Tesla. Just then. Check a Tesla. You're looking for reversal. What do you think? Let me see. Let me see. Um. We're about to break structure here. So once we break structure to the downside here, I'll look to short. But I want to touch it right now, to be honest with you. NASDAQ smoking on that gas pack. Okay, yeah, fuck yes. Shit's yes. Shit's ass. Okay. Now what I'm well now what I what now what I could be looking for is maybe this swell solid liquidity gets swept. Or we come up. Tap. 50% of this whole entire range and then go higher so right now we just wait bro just wait what's up Eric I didn't go in I'm waiting to see for double bottom go for it bro like looks like we're dumping a little bit more maybe sweeping out some more south side liquidity looks like we're about to break structure on the one hour here if we break structure to the one hour, that would validate my bias to go shorts because um, we'll break structure to the one hour. And plus, we're also this four hour for value up here. So it would validate my uh, short bias here. It would potentially change my change me to shorts. So I'm going to wait for the next eight minutes here. So it's looking strong. Yes, cold shower is such a good tool to use to keep the sharp and alert. I can't lie. Your psychology is very good. Take your losses so well. Dude, my psychology used to be so shit, bro. It used to be so bad. It used to be so bad. But now it's it's it's. I feel like ever since I started my YouTube channel, it's gotten a lot better, bro. So that's very good. But if the trade just didn't go my way, and that's completely fine. It looked good in my opinion at the moment, but it happens. Yeah, we really got stopped out. It was used as it literally. Dumped, used it as, as an inverse, and now it's going lower. Like I said, <clears throat> we I want to see a one-hour break of structure to the downside. If you want to see some validation of shorts, we're about to break structure on the 15-minute also, so that's also very good. And, yeah. Looks great for shorts at the moment. Maybe we'll get some more bullish up move later today in the PM session, but looks like shorts might be the move at the moment. Oh shit, my bad guys. I did not, that was loud. Don't you say.
<sighs> not gonna lie, we're gonna wait for this six minute candle to close below this low. If we can get a closure below this low, this will look very good. Is there no silence? Even if we close b below this low, I don't really need to see the 15 minute break of structure at all, to be honest with you. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna validate most of my shit, most of my bias here. Let me see if we have like any SMT at the moment. Yeah, I'm expecting maybe potentially these lows down here. Yeah, maybe these lows down here. Hey bro, that one hour for like for well, the one hour is that is that wait I can't even speak, bro. Holy shit. Hey bro, the one hour is that a swing low even on the right side of the way have a higher wick. What? That makes no sense. Hold up. Hey bro, the one hour is that a swing low even on the right side of it have the higher. What do you mean? What do you mean? That may, I'm not gonna lie to you. That sentence made it zero sense. Like what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean by that? Don't you sing goodbye? Sellers are looking strong here. See what the next five minute does here. Would like to see um, some sort of downside here. To validation of shorts. You use ICT concepts? Yes, I do use ICT concepts. I use liquidity, breakup structure for value gaps, breaker blocks, order blocks. But yeah, I do use uh, ICT concepts. And then, and then this would look really good if we can get a fair value gap like uh, this candle here this would be a little unicorn setup breaker block fair value gap this that would look so clean <clears throat> don't you say move another one for the scalp on tesla up to 40 right let's go just wait on tesla 15 minute candles close let me see let me see man you love tesla brother um, looks like I just swept out these equal lows down here. How long even? How long have you been learning trading? I've been doing it for about two years, bro. Almost two years. Uh, my two year anniversary <laughs> is about to come up soon. Like maybe July, I believe. So July or August. But I've been trading for a little bit now. I feel like it's been forever. Yeah, congrats on the Tesla scout, bro. What's up? What do you think of the minute candle to close? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I would like for more validation here. Four hours bearish. One hour is about to break structure. To, about to break structure to the downside. Um, and then would like some sort of retracement to go lower. Well, yeah, shorts do look good here. Maybe to like 151, maybe 151, 71. And that's actual live trading or just learning. Uh, it's a uh, learning and going live. Uh, I've been going live, maybe like the start of this month. I'm not gonna lie to you, but then I've been trading like just by myself for about like. To almost two years, but I started going live on YouTube 
like a month ago maybe or maybe like two weeks ago all right this is what we're looking at yeah if 151 on tesla would be a big move so i would be very bearish on tesla We'll see what this minute candle does here. Damn, I'm going to try to mount my monitors to my wall, bro. This shit's, like, low-key annoying. I have, like, no space on my desk. All right, we have 40 seconds. Hopefully, we can get a kind of closure below this. And once we do, we'll look for shorts. But as of right now, we kind of just wait, bro. Get rid of this, this, this is the salt buy side that we just got done sweeping. Draw our fifth from here to here. I'd like it to come down to 50% mark of this area if we're looking for shorts. Like I said, we need a can of closure here. All right, we had 10 seconds here. Don't you say? Okay, we can get a candle closure below. Now what I'm looking at is maybe some sort of retracement back down to the to the upside, some retracement to get for us to go lower here. That would be nice. This would really look bad. the pisser mark aligns this this would be like a nice little unicorn here on the three minute here if we can come back up to it have you gotten a funded account yet or just wait for more consistency so i you i got funded like twice but the first time I ever got funded, I lost all of it. I didn't get a payout. Second time I got funded, I got a payout. And then after that, I've been losing ever fucking since. So right now, I'm waiting for more consistency. I want to see more uh, gains on my paper trading account before hopping back on into Combine. And once I do that, uh, we'll be golden, bro. Bro loves Tesla. For real. I'm new, that's why I'm asking so much. Hey, bro, if you're new, just keep asking questions, bro. I've been doing this for almost two years. If you have any questions, let me know. You mentioned that in the one hour, if it hit break structure, you will go short, right? Yes. So right now, we broke structure on the one hour. And now this, and we're also this four hour for a value gap here. One hour is bearish. 15 minutes bearish. Five minutes bearish. Everything is screaming bearish. So right now, I'm more likely to go shorts than bullish because we cut because right now it looks like we just swept out all of this buy side liquidity up here that we have we swept out all this buy side we're displacing lower so right now we just wait bro uh, we're just waiting for some sort of retracement back up to validate some shorts to validate some shorts and then we'll enter would you recommend it yes a hundred percent bro i would <clears throat> excuse me i would most likely find someone that you want to look up to and find a good trader not one of those fucking gurus bro and learn from them and learn from their mistakes learn from their psychology learn from them learn from them bro be a sponge if you're starting new be a fucking sponge and take as much knowledge as you can and just take that knowledge and use it <clears throat> But yeah, I, I do recommend a mentor. I had like so many mentors, bro. And I fucked up my psychology so bad because I used, to, I used to trade options and then I used to trade futures. It was just a lot, bro. Damn, looks like we're getting this massive dump here. Yeah, massive fucking dump here. Like I said, not looking to trade right now. What, just waiting for some sort of retracement. Yeah. 
once we got that one one hour break of structure, I just started to dump here. So. Had to step away from my desk a little bit to ease my mind. Like, did you take a bad trade or something? Or did you uh, just want to take a little break? Any tips on staying disciplined throughout the learning process? I would say make mistakes, bro. Make mistakes. You will not learn if you don't make any mistakes. So when you lose a trade... When you lose a trade, just see how you feel. Like, how do you feel when you lose a trade with your real own capital? How do you feel? You learn a lot about yourself, and you just want to keep taking trades. It's it's this is like a casino, but there's more confluences to it. You know what I mean? So, my tips on staying disciplined is knowing like, I sometimes I still struggle with this. I um I would say, just when you lose, just know why you lose. And just be very, um, I can't even think of the fucking word, bro. When you lose, just try to step away, man. Try to step away. I know it's hard. It's It really is fucking hard. I, I'm not a mo like a motivational speaker at the moment because I'm still fucking tired. But I would say the tips on staying disciplined is be able to just know when to call it quits. You know, it's like, yeah, just be able to know when to call it quits, bro. I know it's really hard, but, but the one hour on the right side of the wick is higher than though. Yeah, no, that I should, it shouldn't really matter. It's just swept out buy side. This is tricking all the retail traders that, oh yeah, we're, we broke up. We're about to come back. We're about to, we, this is just to trick the retail traders. Like this was resistance. Uh, this yeah this was resistance price manipulated up came back down tapped it tricked all the buyers and then now it's dumping no i shouldn't clear my mind i wanted a fresh look at the charts tips on being patient um tips on being patient just fucking um what is it be on your phone be on your phone or like if you come in the markets knowing what you're looking for you're very patient. You know what I mean? You can literally be talking at, like, you can be watching on your, you can be on your phone. You can be watching YouTube on the other monitor on your phone and just wait for markets. That's, I think that's one of, like, the best ways, in my opinion, to be patient is if you know what you're looking for, just wait. Or if you don't ha really have that patience in you, you can literally pull up the charts and if you know what you're looking for, which is great, you can also just be on your phone. Like, be on your phone, look at Snapchat, look at Instagram, do whatever you need to do, and you will be, you will, time will fly by, bro. Play some Clash Royale, yeah, exactly, play some Clash Royale, do something, bro, and you, your patience will level up, bro. Like, you will not be looking to itch to take a trade. Like, watch a TV show or something, watch YouTube, watch some basketball, do something just to keep you up, you know what I mean? Yeah, catch, build, lo, about to load up and load up for and catch a dub. Exactly. Like, because like I said, if you know what you're looking for, if you know what level you're looking for, you should be fine, man. Like, what is it? I used to play Fortnite, bro. I used to play Fortnite and have my charts. I, I literally have my chart on my right monitor and play Fortnite on this monitor and just wait. Just wait because I was like, fuck it. Like, this shit's taking forever. I'm just going to put some Fortnite, get some, do something, play creative. 1v1 builds, bro. It was it was the fucking best, bro. It was the best time. <clears throat> Finally, some upside move here. Like, I want to wait for this for this fair value gap to get tapped because this would be a unicorn setup, and this would look so fucking clean, bro. So I think I might wait for that. This would be your breaker block here. Fair value gap. This would this this would look so clean. Oh my goodness. So we'll just probably wait. 
Plus, it's also aligned with discount area too, so it's even better. I is swing. Wait, is swing our one hour is valid even though the right or middle left is higher than the middle? Wait, what do you mean? Is swing our one hour is valid even though the right or left is higher than the middle? What do you mean? I, I don't understand the question. I personally think trading in gaming is a little too far. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. It's sometimes, like, if you lose in a game, you'll get pissed off. And then, like, you would just, like, fuck it. I'm entering this trade. Yeah, it's it's just kind of diverse. Like, play, do play, like, a playful game. Play Clash Royale. I mean, obviously, people get mad at Clash Royale. But, like, do something, you know? Keep, keep, be distracted. Getting burned by the market so many times forces you to be patient. That's very true. It took me a long time, like a very long time to be to start being more patient. How long have you studied ICT? I've been studying ICT for about a year now. A year, I would say. I started kind of last year. I started only doing fair value gaps when I first started because I didn't want to learn the concepts. I didn't know what the fuck liquidity was. I didn't know what the fuck anything was. All I knew were fair value gaps because they were so easy to read and I would only trade fair value gaps. And then I saw that I was getting burned like a motherfucker. So I started to just quickly learn. And yeah. Got, got to put yourself through fire. Got to put yourself in the fire enough times to build, to build ca calcius. 100% bro. Like if you don't make mistakes during trading, then you will not succeed bro. Like failure comes from succeed. A succeed comes from failure, I meant. Like I said, this 15 minute does look good. Like some sort of retracement back up though. Let me see this. I mean, this could hit standard deviation and then come back to discount of this whole range. Would not be surprised. Just like the clouds are I hold in the sun. Every day it will rain, rain. Bro, what would you do if you make one million trading within five years from now? I would be very shocked, bro. I would be like, damn, I fucking made it. Buy Lamborghini. No, I'm playing. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I um, I would honestly be fucking. I would. I would like low key be like, damn, I fucking made it, bro. Like, I would be fucking amazing. I would retire my parents. Like, retire them. Make sure they're good for the rest of their lives. Cause what they're gonna be like, what old soon, kind of. They're not gonna want to spend a whole bunch of fucking money, so. They're going to be old soon. Make sure if my brother or my sisters want to go to college, pay for that shit. Be nice. You got tips for me, buddy? I, right now, I'm watching all the TGR Bootcamp videos and I'm trying to learn. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. Uh, tips for you. TGR, he's, he, he, he's, he's a great trader, bro. Um, I kind of use his strategy also. And I would say just be patient. His strategy takes a long time. And he simplifies things a lot more than most traders do. I try to simplify my trading too. I used to make it so complicated, but now it's super simple. Um, tips for you. If you're watching TJ's bootcamp, just be sure you have like, just learn, learn his, learn his strategy, right? Go in the markets back test and see what you, and then call, say what you see, bro. Once you, if you say what you see, you learn it more. You know what I mean? It's like reading a book. You you might read it in your mind, in your brain, but you're not going to really learn it if you don't like kind of read it out loud. You know what I mean? It's just one of those things where you have to read it out loud. And once you back test, right? Just once you're going to back test, be like, okay, yeah, this was liquidity sweep here. We got to break a structure down here. Uh, fair value gap right here. Price came up. Tap discount of this range in this fair value gap here. And then we dumped. Like, it's just, 
you gotta like say it out loud for you to, uh, to for you to fully understand and realize it. But yeah, TJR's bootcamp is very good. I recommend watching it if you're wanting to learn like the basic of ICT. Tips on fighting a strategy: always use liquidity for strategy. You always need liquidity for the markets to move. Find liquidity, and yeah, I would say implement liquidity in your strategy for sure. And then break a structure and enter off a fair value gap or a fair value gap or order block. That's all I can say. Because I use pretty much like the basics, like like liquidity, break a structure, fair value gap, and then or or I don't I don't I hardly ever enter off of order blocks, but uh, yeah, always enter off order blocks or fair value gaps. Don't you say? All right, looks like we came down, tapped this level of buy side here. Also, this negative two, negative two point five. I'm expecting some sort of retracement back up to fifty percent mark of this area, of this range. So I'm expecting price to come back up, tap some sort of higher time frame imbalance, and then for us to go even lower to these lows down here. So that's what I'm waiting for. I'm not really too phased by the whole down move here. Like I said, price is more likely to come back up. So now this is where all the patience come in. See, see how see this big down move. Most traders will fucking FOMO and be like, okay, I'm entering shorts. Like, bro, like just wait, bro. You know what I mean? Price is more likely to come back up. And yeah. I mean we could honestly catch the retracement of this move if, if we really wanted to. Honestly. We could realistically because our price is more likely to come back up and retrace but like i said be patient stick with your bias and yeah and we just wait don't you say price should reverse back up to 50 percent of this range Cause there ain't no silence. Dude, we've been getting so many subscribers, bro. It's, it's actually ridiculous. I'm at 1,700, bro. 17 fucking hundred. I started this shit like, I started this at like, what? Like 950 subscribers. Cause I used to do YouTube. My bad. I keep fucking up my mic because I keep moving my chair, and my USB C cord is super short. And I want to I want to get one like a lot bigger soon. Um, so that's the plan, and get a green screen, and make sure it looks good. I keep catching these two hundred dollars scalp shorts on Tesla. Really should have just did a two to three or R to get the get go. Just another short dub. Go for it, bro. Good shit, man. I don't like scalps because they're just very unpredictable sometimes. And yeah, this looks okay. I would like some sort of retracement. Cause shorting down here is diabolical, bro. You're like don't short down here. This this is terrible. What do you mean you got so confused right now? Don't you say it. I pick up those broken pieces till I'm bleeding, but that don't make it right. Took a first trade, took a big L, big fucking L. Damn, yes, it's dumping. Yes, it's dumped, bro. Use that as an inverse, dumps, oh. Yeah, I know the stream is delayed for some reason. I have no idea why, bro. And the quality is shit.
I don't know what it is, bro. Like, I have good Wi-Fi, bro. I have good Wi-Fi and everything. And, like, I try to put it to 1080p, 60fps, and it's just so laggy, bro. I don't know what it is. I have Ethernet cord and everything. Like, that shit should not lag, bro. Like, it really should not lag. But it's, like, super laggy for some reason. Right now, this is the most, this is like the best part, obviously, is waiting for price to come back up and retrace for it to go lower. That's going to be the longest fucking part to be H. But the risk, the reward is a lot higher, so that's even better. These rows of flame, attention of fire. What upgrade are you getting for the YouTube channel first? Um, probably it's either a green screen or maybe like a, a green screen or honestly, I don't know a green screen and a, I want to, oh fuck, I keep saying the same shit. I want to get, I want to either get a green screen what did I say I was going to get earlier? Or, yeah, probably a green screen, bro. And then I want to get a better camera. Like, my camera is good. My this, this I'll show you guys a camera that I have right now, bro. Like, this camera is very good. It's just, like, once I want to get a better one. It was, like, a thousand bucks, bro. That shit was fucking expensive, bro. I think I only got one lens kit. Bro, what? Dude, this this camera dropped a lot, bro. Oh wait, wrong wrong fucking display source. This is the camera that I got. It's a Nikon Z30, bro. And dude, this was about not 800 bucks. I bought it whenever it was like 800 bucks. Now it's almost I dropped almost like 200 bucks, bro. And I have this camera. I want to get a better one, bro. But it's like I just want to get a way better one. I don't know. <clears throat> Just take a stab long on Tesla. Looking for retracement for $300 profit long. Yeah, bro. I will wait for retracement on Tesla for sure. Is that a breaker block on the 15 minute? Yes. This is a breaker block right here. Breaker block right here. And I want price to come up and tap some sort of imbalance up here. Maybe the 15 minute imbalance. This would be a unicorn setup if we can come back up to this 15 minute fair value up here. A unicorn fucking setup. It works 90% most of the time. So that's what I'm really kind of looking for. Dan, we're already almost an hour to the session. Yeah, bro. Almost an hour to the session and there's 20 people in here, bro. Which is fucking crazy. One day we're going to get like a thousand people in here, bro. I feel it. I feel it, bro. And it's just gonna go fucking wild, man. <clears throat> Bro, price is so slow right now, man. Like I said, we should come back up. We could look too long to for for it to come back up to these imbalances here. Oh, should I take a stab long? Nah, nah, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking it long. Fuck that. That was a trick. These rows of flame, attention of fire. We're getting no retracements. This isn't, you don't want to trade it. There's no retracements here. We got Tesla again. Let me look at some other Starbucks. Dude, I want some Starbucks, bro. Oh my goodness. I wanted to get some Starbucks this morning, bro, but I was like, fuck it, bro. It's fine. I'm trying to save money, man. I'm a white bitch for real. I want some caffeine. 
looks like Starbucks is pretty bullish. Taps this, break a structure to the upside here. One hour tap, we're tapping this one hour for value gap. Looks like we stepped out all this liquidity here, stepping to all the buyers. Again, 15 minute, I'd like to see some sort of confirmations for the upside. It looks great for longs, honestly. Still more south liquidity to grab. Exactly, bro. Ah, like I said, standard deviation projected price to come like to this low. So I was expecting some sort of retracement here, but looks like we're not getting any. I think we will later, but this would look pretty good for unicorn setup up here. These rows are flame of tension of fire. Like I said, I'm not too worried after this big down move here. Don't I don't even feel like taking a trade. I want to wait for price to come up. Tap this for going lower. Like I said, try to have your patience up. Do something like like I said, do something so you can keep yourself distracted from putting on a potential trade. Life's a game, then my game has been the best. Yeah. There we go. Some finally some upside. Five eight five thousand eighty seven twenty five might bounce off of that. If not five thousand seventy five seventy five, I predict no promises. You're good, brother. Looks like price came down. Tap this fifteen minute balance. We can finally start seeing some upside here. Except like retracement. So, if life's a game, then my honestly, you could look to take this inverse here, but it's too late now. Your fill, your stop loss would be fucking ass. If we get a five minute break of structure here, I'll look to long to this uh, imbalance up here. Yo, what's good, Aiden? What's good, brother man? Uh, maybe I won't long if we just go up straight move here. If life's a game of inches, then my dick has been the biggest. Like I said, we just wait, bro. Uh. Um, I took one trade and it was an L. Uh, I was looking along, but was in prof was in drawdown and then was in profit for a little bit and then and then i got stopped out like like right here which is okay not the best down about 333 dollars wait so all that 512 oh damn there we go yeah i got stopped out here but looks like we might take another trade here. If life's a game of inches. Damn, dude. I closed my long at break even right before the move happened. Yeah, that's no, all good, bro. I'm not too worried. I thought we were just filling up the gap more. But. All, all good. Come back. 100%, bro. That's all I can do at the end of the day. Done for the day. Don't want to impulse trade. Exactly, bro. So just take your profits and run, my boy. Take that shit and run. We're getting kind of a slower move up here. 
Pessoal hum, hum, hum. I like a 5 minute break of structure Then prices come back down Tapping this inverse potentially And then go higher And tapping this uh, unicorn area We have a minute We're going to wait for the whole minute Always posting my emotions. Let's see what happens here. Break structure potentially. We got thirty seconds left on this candle. See what happens. We got eight seconds. Okay, we technically broke structure to the upside here. Like I said, would want for price to come back down to maybe this fair, maybe to this fair value up here. So if not, then we're chilling. Nothing. I don't want to trade anything if we don't. Unless we come back up to this uh, fair value up here, then I'll like to enter shorts. We did just, just run through this fair value up here. <clears throat> if life's a game of inches, then my dick has been the biggest. Some people would enter off of this inverse fair value gap here. I personally wouldn't. We have these inverses down here also that we could come back down, get get a candle closure below below this fair value gap here, and respect this. So I want to wait for this fair value gap here. For this inverse. I'll look to give it one contract here. Maybe to target this um, 15 minute fair value gap up here. The, now this is a bit riskier to be honest with you but i'm just gonna give it a shot damn that was a big bullish move up here do we even have discount We did not tap discount. This is discount right here. We'll see what happens here. Price is super slow right now, for sure. Okay. I'm a 520 right now on Tesla scalps. I'm gonna call it a day after one more long. Retrace. I still feel like it may be one more last pull down bearish first. I would just go a lighter size, to be honest, if you're already up so much. 520 is a lot, bro. I would take it and run. Especially if it's real money, too. But if you think that... But if you believe that it's going to do that, then go for it, brother. Like I said, you make 100% you make of the shots you don't take, so...
you 100% of your trades that you don't take. Oh, I got you. If yeah, paper trading, go for it, bro. Back tests, take trades that you wouldn't like that you would re regularly take and then see how that plays out for you. We're tapping or we're about to tap this 15 minute maybe. I was looking at your stream while getting a trade over or, or I wasn't looking at your stream while getting a trade or ready and then I looked back and you you have the exact same order as me law. Yeah, exactly. Like this is just a retracement. Like so I'm expecting price to come back down tapping me in and then whenever we break whenever we tap this 15 minute uh and balance here, I'll look to go break even. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. We're tapping discount area of this range right now. Okay, we're filled. Nice rejection so far. Nice reaction. Like I said, once we break above this high, I'm moving my stops to break even. Because this is also in line with the 15 minute for value gap and I don't want price to just come back up retrace into this into this 15 minute for value gap and then dump so move myself to break even after this after this high is taken out yep just got filled exactly nice bullish reaction so far my stop is a candle closure below this uh, fair, this inverse fair value gap here. It's not all the way down here. So like maybe if we can get a candle closure below here. But I'm just moving my I'm just putting my stops down here just to be safe in case price wants to wake us and then go back up. Like I said, this looks to be the more magnet draw breaker fair value gap up here. So. see what happens here good reaction so far always posting my emotions Damn, it's all good. I ain't tripping. Ooh. I'll just see what happens here. So this is a bit more of a riskier trade because we're playing the retracement of this range. So I did not like that candle flip. We'll wait and see. You could get stopped out here. But I just don't like how we don't have any retracements back up. 
There we go. We should see some retracements back up, to be honest with you. Oh, wait. What is the my emotion? Let's see, let's see where this... Oh, what the fuck? Hold up. I'm sta I'm drawing standard deviation. It's projecting price to come up here. So I'm like, okay, this doesn't look terrible. Could come back up here. In line with this breaker area. So... We'll really have to see what happens here. Excuse me. If DXY is going up, then it, NASDAQ sh and ES should go down. Let me see what DXY is doing. DXY seems to be pretty bearish, to be honest with you. One hour is bearish, four hours bearish. 15 minute is bearish technically bearish so a dxy should be going down while yet while nasdaq and yes should be going up here this inverse is holding though also this yeah this inverse is holding i want to see us break structure here we need to break a structure on the one minute Because we did sweep some sort of liquidity down here. This could, this is pretty much liquidity. Sell side liquidity up, up here. So we need to break structure here. This should be your unicorn model here. Breaker for value gaps. This looked good. Should be holding. We broke structure to the upside here. We should see some more upside coming into this price action level here. But we do have a unicorn here, so.
Hello? Yeah, my bad. It's because of my... I keep pulling on it on accident with my chair. Like, some... I need to get a bigger USB-C uh, mic. Or, you, biggest... A bigger USB-C uh, cable. My bad. This is Futures? Yes, this is uh, NASDAQ Futures. Or NQ1. NASDAQ 100 E-mini Futures. said this inverse needs to hold always posting my emotions or accumulating here ever gone to options I did I first I kind I, I did options my very first year bro um, I started off with options and then I slowly converted to futures and I realized it was so much better but futures it's just there's just a lot more risk to it than options so yeah fuck options options are hard to do because you got to figure out the strike price your theta beta fucking uh, some dumb shit and I'm like okay yeah this is too much but there's people who make money off of options. It was just perfectly fine. I just prefer futures than options. I think the longer my kid was should be the first upgrade than the green screen. Yes, uh, that could be a two, bro. That could be a fucking two. But it's like, what, like $10 for a longer one? So. There we go. Bro, I do need a bigger USB C mic though. A USB C cable. Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. We are bullish structure right now in the one minute though. But I will be right back. I'm gonna let this tray sit. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go say hi to my sister and yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, there we go, boys. Hey! That's what's up. Excuse me. Uh, I think I should be already in profit, to be honest. Yeah. This one trait made up for my last for my last loss, bro. Just crazy. Hopefully, we just get a straight up move to my take profit here. But I will be trailing my stop, though. As soon as we take out the side, I'll try my stop. Because we should be in this 15 minute fair value gap also. So.
I can't lose when I'm with you. Sorry, my bad. My bad, Jits. Why is my why is it so oh, so blurry? You is too important. Nobody, nobody like you do. I can't lose. Come on. Dude, I feel like trend lines on the woman that helped me a lot when I'm when you what you reckon. Um, I typically don't use trend lines. I used to use them like these, like boom, trend line, respect. But it, I guess it helps with the chaos for sure. I feel like, but I, I, I don't use trend lines anymore. Come on. That's unfortunate. do have this one minute here so this this one minute for a guy for a bag up needs to hold here Holy shit. What is this? Okay, wow. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. I'm down about 800 bucks here. That is crazy. I have no idea. There's no news that we have. Yeah, we have no news until like until like aftermarket. Dude, I thought we were gonna go up. To be honest with you, tap the fifteen minute balance, but no, we just fucking dumped, mate. We didn't tap any higher time frame imbalance at all either. So it's like, the fuck. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Completely got stopped out. Wow, that's crazy. Got to wait for that ES to flip that that 1011 gap gang. 1011. It's all good. It's unfortunate. I took this long because we came down sub some sort of liquidity here. Five minute broke structure to the upside, entered off this inverse. Was looking to target this 15 minute for value gap, but I was gonna move my stops to break even after taking this high. And we just completely flipped over and dumped. So it's all good. Damn. It's all good, boys. Down about 800 bucks. I think I'm done trading for the day. So, I was a pretty hefty loss. I'm not going to lie to you. Lost about, what, 400 bucks, 500 bucks off that trade? I even went light risk, too. So, let's see. Resume out, bro. We tapped into a premium. 
four hour for value but in q and i were moving towards a discount hour for yeah yeah so like I, I the only reason why i longed was because um the real the only reason why i longed was because i wanted to see a retracement back up to like some sort of higher time frame imbalance which we never tapped usually we will tap a higher time frame imbalance before, before going lower and yeah that didn't we didn't plan out the way i wanted to go because I, I was short biased but i wanted to play the retracement here but it's all good it happens now we have all of these unmitigated 15 minute fair value gaps here plus we had a unicorn model here which looked decent but it's all good it happens everything was screaming short to me i got a hole from last friday dump to dig out from though yeah like i said i was bearish i played longs to play the retracement back up and we didn't get filled by what like like eight ticks so that's what i was looking at retrace coming looks like yeah honestly maybe i wouldn't look to i wouldn't like to shore anymore well i i'm still short bias but we just got done taking out getting slow so i'm still pretty short bias actually never mind i lied Maybe we can retrace to this uh, discount area of this range and then go lower. We'll see. But I think it will be as choppy. Yeah, I know. Me too, bro. It's just a lot right now. Yep, you knew those losses was gonna get hit, just no entry opportunities. Yep, no no those loss was gonna get hit, just no entry opportunities. Yeah, no, it's all good, bro. I was liquidity here. Liquidity. We sub London nodes into the four hour bag out. I think longs into some imbalance are good soon. Or hit yesterday's low or Asian lows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I was looking to long. I looked to long like i said london i didn't even realize but london low was swept london low was swept here and then i took my long entry did not get tapped at all but this if we can after this big displacement down here we've kind of had accumulation here accumulation manipulation to the upside and then downside here if we can come back up to this 50 percent mark of this whole entire range or even ote level of this range i may look to take another short so I may look to take a short here if we can come up to either 50% mark or 79% mark. And yeah. Uh, yeah, my bad. Wasn't talking about your setup. No, it's all good, brother. Like I said, I, I thought it looked good. So I'm not really too mad about it. Like I said. If we can come up to some sort of imbalance here. When I'm with you. We'll see what happens here. After this big downside move, I would like price to come up and tap some sort of imbalance here 50 percent market or even ot level <sighs> yo tesla we're looking bright right now break break structure president let me see At least Tesla came up and tapped this 15 minute for value gap. Um, 
I would have. Uh, I mean, longs don't. Uh, shorts don't look bad on Tesla. Realistically. My leg to short here. I was. Sh I'll probably short here to be honest with you. I'll give shorts like a stab. Imagine. I'm gonna imagine it. Stops above this high. Just don't like how we don't. Ha I just don't like how we. Uh, displaced above this bearish value gap here and and like uh, we have we haven't hit discount area of this range yet okay we have this five minute tapped tap this five minute here SMT at the lows I don't know if I want a long again, bro. I'll, I'll probably just wait. Wait for it. Testing waters with light longs. We have lots of premium rays. Like we did tap. We did sweep out all this liquidity here. So about all this liquidity, this could be your total soup. Yeah, longs are just fucking annihilating everything right now. I think we might blow through some arrays since we're already deep discount. There's SMT on ES and in Q. SMT, where? Hold up, I'm trying to find it. Where's the SMTs? Wait, which SMT are you guys talking about? We're tapping OTE here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm done. So I just, I'm, st I'm just studying. I see SMT. I don't even use it as a confluence. Yeah, I, I'll use it sometimes, but it's like very rare that I'll use it. How's it going today, bro? Just turning in right now. Um, down about eight hundred bucks on the day. Like I said, I didn't take terrible trades. I took decent trades, in my opinion, that I would usually take. Just not. I am not. Pro I'm probably not reading the markets correctly right now. But we are tapping OTE, kind of respecting it right now. Like I said, I want to see a one-minute break of structure to the, to the downside first. And then I'll look to enter. This is like the same thing that happened yesterday. Like I li literally did, I literally took the same. This looks like the exact same trade I took yesterday, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Like right here. Big sell-off move here. This is the exact same trade, bro. I swear to God. So basically, big same. Th I did the exact same thing. Big sell-off move, OTE level here, and then I had my stops right above OTE level. But if I would have just had my stops up above here, I would have pit take profit. So what I'm going to do is, if we do the same thing here, I'll have my stops up this very high. Just be safe. Move my sim account since I'm green today. I have no confidence. Inverse some favorite I guess right now. Let's see what happens here. Exactly. Which we'll have to wait. <clears throat> what is ES doing? We have bear system T now on ES and in Q right now at the moment. Pretty sure. Yeah, bear system T on ES.
We'll see if this OTE level here holds. Like I said, I want to see if one minute breaker structure to the downside first. Okay, this we don't have SMT anymore. Well, you're right. Longs don't look bad after sweeping out this these lows down here, but I still wouldn't really trust it. Maybe we're just waiting for a price to hit OT level on ES, maybe. If we can get a woman to break a structure here, that'll be great. That'll look good to the downside. Buy side. Hmm. Yeah, we do have stack equal highs up here pretty much. <clears throat> it's either we can come up here sweep out these highs up here then go lower or we can get a break of structure here that i would like to see maybe and enter off a fair value up here We'll have to see what happens here. I'm not trying to get copyrighted here. Wow. Big downwards candle here. Like I said, type OT level here. I would like to see some sort of break of structure to the downside and then a, and then a retracement back down. I just want to make you proud. Wait, no maker, she is 10. Okay, now what I'm going to do is potentially wait for a retracement. I want to see a can of clutch below, below these fair value gaps here first. These This doesn't look bad either. Hmm. I'm just going to wait. I'm not really sh too confident in these right now. No maker, she is ten. Kind of want to take a short entry here. Like shorts don't look bad. If we can, if we can just retrace. Also, I believe there's a power of three shaping it for the longs. Power of three, where on what time frame? Uh, 
Oh, I see it. Accumulation right here. Manipulation to the downside. This could be the distribution up. But is that is that what you're looking at? One minute. Yeah, like right here, this would have been accumulation, manipulation to the upside distribution. Looks like we're just coming back to retrace. Like I said, I want to give shorts a stab here, but. Hmm. I'm not too. Like, I want to give shorts a stab. I really do. I really do. Chat. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Hmm. I agree. I have a long bias right now since we tapped into premium of a four hour for value up into an hour, a four hour discount for value. We still have not so high day. Yeah. Fo just follow your plan though. No, I agree. It's just like, hmm. Shorts do not look bad at all, bro. What broker and app do you use? I use Trading View to trade, and I use Tradeovate to trade trade. But yeah, the broker is Tradeovate, and the app I use is Trading View. It doesn't look bad. We're just being very slow right now. Because we're bearish on all time frames. Four hours bearish, one hour is bearish, 15 minutes is bearish, five minutes is bearish. Like we're screaming bearish, so this should work. I might give shorts a stab here. I'm, how do you trade through TradingView? You mean just analysis? Uh, so like you connect your Tradeovate broker to TradingView and then you can trade through on TradingView. Just had a $100 Tesla loss for short calling in a day. Went from 550 down to 450. 450 is not bad. Exactly. 450 is not bad, bro. I would just run away from your profits here now before you want to keep trading. Yeah, we got stopped out here too. Add confidence is why it wouldn't work though. So I'm not really too mad. What if I just put my stops up here? This would be really unrealistic, to be honest with you. We'll see what happens here. I'm like... I want to see us run through these imbalance here. Actually, I'm going to get rid of my order, bro. I'm not liking market conditions at all right now. We have, uh, we just got done sweeping out these lows. But I'm still very bearish, though. That's a thing. I'm very bearish right now. And... We're not getting any retracements. We're just dumping a little bit, accumulating, and then dumping. And we also have this one minute that we're kind of bouncing off right now. And we have this unmitigated one minute here. So it's just like a lot. I'll have to wait and see. Don't get trapped in consolidation. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't want to trade right now. This just looks terrible. 
Is trade of a global? I'm from the UK. Um, I'm not sure if you can use. I'm pretty sure you can use trade of a whenever you're in the UK for sure. I, I'm sure that's possible. Yep, that's the worst death trap. Exactly. Like you don't want to train consolidation, bro. You're just gonna get stopped out quickly. But it, it happens, bro. But I'm gonna call it a day, guys. Like I said, I'm not going to trade. I'll, I'll probably come back PM session, but I'm not going to trade right now. This just looks terrible. But we took two trades today and took L's over and over. So uh, took two L's. I'm down about 800 bucks. Yeah, lunch hour is about to hit anyways. So I will catch you guys tomorrow and I will thank you guys for joining.